Yeah, my name is Vladimir, Vladimir Karamachev. I'm originally from Russia, but I came here in 1998, so I, uh, I'm pretty Dutch already. So Rotterdam is my city. There is no other city where I lived so long. I brought my son here when he was nine. Now he's more than 30. And my daughter was born also here. So we are a Dutch family with Russian roots. I became a student in 1986, so it was a very long time ago, so I started forgetting. Clearly, I was not the best student, you know, skipping some classes. I studied in a technical university and my specialization was radio engineering. So all my time was about making some radio devices, some you know, walkie-talkie, that kind of things, TV. So I spent most of my time in my student room where I was trying to make something out of these uh, small electronic pieces rather than in the lecture classes. But uh, it was easy for me to study. I can say I was pretty advanced, so that classes went relatively easy to me. Yeah, when I uh, got my master degree in economics 1997, uh, I got an invitation to do PhD here at uh, Tinbergen Institute, Rotterdam. It was really a huge difference. Some of my friends, they say, yeah, Vladimir, you should first go to Poland, maybe then to Germany, and only then to the Netherlands because the Netherlands was really on the backside of the moon. So it was a completely different country with completely different kind of rules and habits and, and daily life. I didn't know what Holland was. I had never been abroad at that time. So it was really like an adventure to me just to come very first time to Holland. I was really shocked because the difference between Soviet Union and okay, Russia, but I was grown up in, during the Soviet time. So it took me quite a while to, uh, to accommodate for this. So I came for PhD. I received my PhD in 2002. And uh, I was happy when uh, Erasmus University offered me a position here. So I became an assistant professor. And since then, since 2002, I give classes to, to the students of Erasmus. So my academic work is mainly related to microeconomics. So microeconomic, microeconomics is my life. So deci individual decision making and game theory. I should say I did some progress and uh, we published a paper somewhere in 2005 where we contributed to the individual choice theory. As a teacher, I started very unprofessional 20 years ago. And through time, I just got experience. So now I can say, okay, I'm professional, but all my professionalism comes from, uh, from my experience. Again, I didn't have any classes on pedagogics, on uh, uh, student or adult psychology or something like this. And I think it is, it could be helpful for, for a professional teacher. I know much more than 20 years ago what students need and how to pass on this knowledge from me to them. So I try to do my best. Uh, as I said, I, I started loving teaching and uh, I value it much more than before. Majority of the students are kind of average students. They need just a regular flow of the lecture. They need some poses, they need some jokes. So it's a kind of a standard thing. But there are students who are always behind. So what I found is that these students, they need some sort of confirmation or confidence that the teacher is not an ugly animal who is going to buy them during the examination time, but it's a person who is ready to help them understanding the material right after the lecture or maybe any other day. So I try to give students a flavor that I'm playing in their team so that they can, they can come to me to my office or maybe to stop me after, after the classes or maybe to have another appointment to discuss any sort of problems that they have with the material. But whatever their misunderstanding is, very often it is just one single kind of very, very small point that they are missing and it prevents them to go forward. And I'm very happy when I can help one or two students during, during the year. This is the most beautiful moment of your life. Enjoy it the most. Do what you want. But don't forget about your uh, study obligations because otherwise your student life might be interrupted.